I've spent a couple of minutes walking through the house, picking up random items, kind of putting those where they go. If you can imagine with six kids, if I let that go too long, it is almost to the point where you can't catch up with it. Try to stay like a little ahead of the ball game and walk around a couple of times a day. They do have to help me from time to time. Right now they're all outside playing, so I'm not gonna make them come in to pick up the things that need to be picked up. But I try to stay ahead of the ball game and pick up a couple of those things throughout the day because if I don't, it gets uncontrollable with all of the kids, six kids, like cups on the ground, <laughs> stuff like that. I have a lot actually to knock out today. Every day that I get up and I think that it shouldn't be that bad of a day. I'm like, my list just keeps piling up on me. I have to start inside today. I have lots of things to do inside. I've already got kombucha going here. This is just organic green tea. Y'all heard me talk a lot about my kombucha videos. I'll have to do that. Onions are done. I just pulled those out of the freeze dryer. I'm about to grind all of those up and get those in jars in my pantry because I use lots of onions, green onions, and garlic in my seasoning. Some of the things that y'all might can look forward to coming up, I love to make my own Moppy Joe mix. I make my own taco seasoning and my own taco sauce also make my own sauce when I make out chicken and alfredo. Lots of things I make from scratch, which are all really, really easy to do. Almost everyone that I just named off to you require garlic and onion. We'll get those put up. The thing that I did not get to, which was over there, y'all saw my big blanket laid out with all my onions, the green onions and garlic. I got all the onions done, except for a couple that I couldn't get in the freeze dryer. I'm gonna, they're already washed and been in the refrigerator. They're gonna go in the freeze dryer and I have a bucket of garlic and I'm also gonna wash off, put those in the freeze dryer. Then it will be lunchtime. We're gonna do lunch. Then I've got to head out. I have lots of things to do outside today. Some of the stuff under the porches it has been raining here, which has been very, very good for all of the things in ground, but for the things that are in pots and in my greenhouse, all of those things have to be watered. All of the no-till beds around this time of the year when the heat really takes off, at least one or two day a week, I have to spend a couple of hours just going through and weeding so that the grass doesn't get completely out of control because you guys know especially if you're from the south how hot it gets it just does not take grass very long to take over i picked the strawberries and the tomatoes yesterday the kids follow me to the sink and as I'm washing them and cutting them up and putting them in my basket the kids are right there eating which I'm not complaining I would much rather have them eat strawberries that are packed full of nutrients that are fully organic than eat anything else that has been grown right here on our farm lunch I have leftovers in my oven it is corn hamburgers some leftover sweet potatoes macaroni and cheese breakfast casserole so for lunch today, these are some things I have put off in the refrigerator. Maybe we had a little bit of this left, a little bit of that left. Though none of that stuff is going to waste in my house. I do not like to throw food away and we try to throw, if any, very, very, very little. And it doesn't actually go to waste. It does not go in the garbage can. Y'all know pigs, pigs, pigs. We have lots of pigs. So if we don't eat a little bit of something, it does make it to our pig bucket, which is right over there. But so for today for lunch, we have pulled all of the leftovers out. It's just gonna kind of be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I need to have some pancakes left over for breakfast this morning that is up here. So the kids will have to, oh, pizza. I had leftover pizza too from last night. So just a little bit of everything. This will be our lunch today. The hamburgers are gonna go hamburger steaks tonight with some canned vegetables because I do kind of have a long day today but no leftovers go to waste here we are going to eat on that for lunch i will just put the hamburger steaks on with some beef broth and some seasonings and slip those in the oven put some vegetables that are already cooked just warm those up that's going to be our two meals for today 
to make sure that no food gets left behind or thrown in the garbage. I do have a commercial grade grinder that I'm going to show y'all a clip of. I have really enjoyed it knowing that I have to do lots of grinding. A small grinder was just not working well for me. So it was an investment that we decided to make. This commercial grade grinder has been absolutely amazing. I will also post a link for y'all for anyone that's interested and wants to take a look at, look at that. show y'all where I'm at. Got one full quart. I've been sneezing. That dust has kind of been in my nose. I got one full quart of dried onions. This is where I stopped on my other so that you can see that I've taken my trays and condensed the storage down to very little. The inside of my freeze dryer wiped out. I've turned it on so it can begin cooling. The only other thing I need to do now is wait 15 minutes for the inside to cool off. While this is cooling off, I'm going to get my onions from the refrigerator and put them on my trays so I can get them in the pre shark. freeze dryer is a major expense for us it was it was a major investment I, I know a lot of people say well we can't afford one we can't afford one saving is the key that was kind of what we did put money aside and said okay we're gonna allocate this for freeze dryer that was what we invested in for a Christmas present there are sales where they do discounts and that helps out tremendously every little bit helps now what I would challenge you to do we've had a lot of people say we really want a freeze dryer but we just cannot afford it so I've shared these tips before this is something that we implement here ourselves when you're looking to make a big investment one of the easiest things to do is make a savings envelope for whatever you're planning on purchasing especially if it's like a, a major investment now a free stars are a couple of thousand dollars which is a major investment if you're living from paycheck to paycheck and it takes everything that you make almost to just cover the bills consider a couple of things say all the things that you don't use that is an easy way to take money and put it in your envelope everybody can go through their closets drawers cabinets attics basements whatever you have if you haven't used it within the past year and it's not something that you can utilize in your home sell it if it's just sitting there it's not doing you any good whatever it may be shoes that you haven't worn in a year get rid of those things sell those things have a garage sale yard sale whatever you call it in your area put all of that money in your envelope another thing i would tell you to possibly consider is skip the eating out especially fast food dining in tight restaurants cost a lot of money and if you decide that you're going to make a turkey sandwich or a club something along those lines either pack it to work with you and skip the fast food eat at home instead of going out to eat i know for us we're a family of eight and anytime we go dine in a restaurant it's at least a hundred dollars i can feed ourselves for way cheaper than that at home even if you're big into eating out pause that eat at home save the difference you'll be amazed at how quick that money will add up if you are really serious about adding these things to your home that will benefit you you might have to make sacrifices somewhere along the line some of us may have habits that cost money lots of money if you have a habit that costs you a lot of money some of those can get very very expensive just thinking about going out to eat like i said if you cut that back even the alcoholic beverages there are very very expensive reduce the amount of habits that we have 
it will save you a tremendous amount of money and also put it in your envelope extra hobbies hobbies and family time is a really good thing but it might be where you say for this season we're not going to go this place and spend so much money we're not going to go this place and spend so much money maybe today we're going to go to the park where it's free maybe we're going to go to a state lake and go fishing where it only costs you a couple of dollars to get in if you go to the movies by the time you pay for tickets for everybody popcorn for everybody coats for everybody you're talking that's well over a hundred dollars for my family we're talking more along the lines of two hundred dollars so maybe consider hobbies that are less expensive versus hobbies that are more expensive save the difference and put it in your envelope when we decide that we want to make an investment that is going to be worth it for our family we implement these things and sometimes it does mean sacrifice staying at home and playing basketball or staying at home and taking our family fishing on our lake here instead of going out to dine out or going out to the movies or going out skating or whatever that may be because things are so expensive and they cost a lot of money. Sometimes you can pick hobbies and you can pick food items that are organic and healthy choices that aren't expensive. So I said all that to say, yes, our freeze dryer was a major investment. Yes, there has been times that we've made sacrifice to invest in those things that we want because we find an importance for it. Knowing that I can take my food, whether it be leftovers or whether it be something from the garden that we literally just harvested that may would take up a lot of space, I can put that in the freeze dryer I can save that food. That food will last me for a really, really, really long time. Some of these freeze dried foods last up to 20, 25, 30 years. That is a major ordeal y'all. Only when you're talking about harvesting such a large amount of food, like for our family, a lot of the things that I told you, just like my garlic and onion, I go through a lot of that. I can take instead of having the complication of saying, you know what, I don't know what to do with all this garlic and onion. I really don't have a place for all this garlic and onion. I can put all of that garlic and onion in my freeze dryer. This is just one example, y'all, because it's what I'm doing. It's what I'm working on. I can freeze dry that stuff out. I can grind it down into powder, do a lot of my herbs the same way, put it in jars and put it on a shelf. When you're talking about oh. trays, a food that I can condense down to make in a smaller space. Even if you decide to put some of that stuff in Mylar bags, it is still saving a tremendous amount of space, not to include it's making food that will last us for years and years. And here's the thing that I probably like the most. When you're talking about freeze drying and you're talking about canning, there is a lot of prep. There is a lot of <laughs> you stop. I want to get Mr. Bug. You want me to get Mr. Bug? Huh? Here comes Mr. Bug. When you're talking about prep work, it takes a lot of prepping to do. Canning. Canning for me is an all day. Usually it's an all day. Sometimes if I have a smaller batch, I can get it done in half a day. If I go out and harvest a lot of things, it is usually an all day ordeal. <laughs> Is that what I look like, Livy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> However, when you talk about freeze drying, it is very, very simple. If it happens to be like a root vegetable, <laughs> if it happens to be like a root vegetable, peas that need to be shelled or whatever, washed off, that is literally the extent of what I have to do. There is no sterilizing jars and all of that. You literally just prep your food the way you want it to go in the freeze dryer. I put my food in the trays, put them in the freeze dryer. The freeze dryer literally does all of the other work. Mm -hmm. Tell them. <laughs> literally after that, it's literally that easy. You prep your food, you put it in the freeze dryer, you let the freeze dryer do its job, you package your food. So. When you compare it, in my opinion, to <laughs> when you compare it, in my opinion, to cannon, whether it's hot water bath or pressure cannon, there is so much work that goes into that prep work, the jar work, 
it's just really a lot more work in my i've done both i've done it for years and to me the freeze dryer is just so much more simple when i start pulling up my garlic and onions and those very first things that we start harvesting really from when i turn my freeze dryer on at that point pretty much to the almost to the very end of the year my freeze dryer is on so i have a lot of experience with it the technology behind the freeze and drying and the way that it preserves the food is absolutely beautiful even down to the taste and the rehydration of the food is absolutely amazing so i said all that in hopes to educate you guys share with you from my heart kind of where we're we're at the reason why I use my freeze dryer, the reason why I like it so much, and the reason why I think you should get one, if you've even been contemplating getting a freeze dryer, I think you should. I think it'll be a good investment. Even if you say, well, we just don't have the money right now, ponder those suggestions that I gave. There are a lot more other ways that you can save. Here's one. Don't buy new books. Look for used books. Uh, if you're into reading, uh, there are lots of websites online that have really good used books um, that are almost brand new. Secondhand store buy. I cannot tell you the last time I've actually went into a boutique and bought my kids clothing. If I do, the only reason I do is because it is on sale. Secondhand stores have some really good clothes that are half of the price. Y'all, I'm telling you, there are lots of ways that you can get what you need, save the difference, put it in your savings envelope, out having to make yourself feel like you're actually making a huge sacrifice. I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to share with y'all a little bit from my heart today and what's going on around the farm. If you have any specific questions, y'all, please send us an email. Please send us a comment. I try to do, uh, I have a period of time set aside in the day where I go through emails, comments. I cannot always get to those. But I do try my best to answer comments, read comments, and uh, answer those questions as needed. I was hoping to, when I come out to do some of my chores, I was hoping to pull up. There's some potatoes that I needed to get up and get out of the way. I was going to refeed that bed. I had some garlic I was going to get up and get out of the way and plant my sweet potatoes there alongside watering some of my plants that are under the porch, which is, is what I'm fixing to do. Actually, I'm just going to move them right out because it is raining. So I'm not going to be able to get out and do some of the things that I wanted to do today, it was pretty warm this morning, hence the reason why I like dressed in shorts and stuff. I knew it was gonna be really hot. But as of right now, I don't know how long the rain is gonna be. It looks like it's pretty set in with the clouds in the background. So change of plans. I am going to catch up on some things on the inside that needed to be done. I've got some laundry. You know that with a family of eight, the laundry never stops. So I'm going to catch up on some laundry. I've gotten bread done for today. I've gotten kombucha done for the day. I'm going to make some condensed milk. I'm cooking for a friend of mine who had a baby. I'm going to be taking that her tonight. So I, I guess, thanks Rain. For today, I'm just gonna kind of be stuck inside. There's not a whole lot I can do. It's not even just sprinkling a little bit, like it's raining pretty steady. So all of my plants are outside. I'm gonna be scratching. And you know, that's just life sometimes. I walked out to deliver uh, something to one of my customers and it started sprinkling on us. I did not even realize it was gonna rain today, but that's how life is sometimes. It rains when you don't expect it. We are going to just catch up on other things and still use my time wisely. Happy homestead, y'all. Then your freeze dryer warms it up, dries the food, you take it out and package it. <laughs> Stop, I cannot finish this video because you look so funny.